Today we are going to review the S1 from the XTL 3D printer and we are going to review their filament. My name is Bashar and this is Stock 3D Printing. Okay, let's see what's inside the box. I really like how they package it and they have a picture. <laughs> Usually printer they come like without anything, like no picture, or nothing. Oh, that new way to back to put printer, look at this. Oh, there is a, you can see there's a filament here. Wow, that's a big spool. It's going to be tools. Oh, yep. Yeah. Some tools. What is this? Oh, a snipper. This is nice. I really like USB cable. XR1. This is not bad. I think that area. Oh, it's like a beautiful manual. Look at this color. Look at these details. Hmm. That's interesting. No, I like the manual. And it seems in different language. And there's anything else in the box? I don't see anything in the box for now. I think only the printer. Okay. Key. And now we're just gonna have to move this. I'm gonna put that interested design and how they package it. Easy. Okay. There we go. And. I think it's ready to be assembled this before it looked like ready to go. Wow, that means I'm just gonna put the screw here and it's good to go. All right, awesome. Okay, now we're gonna assemble it. And it's saying there's not much to assemble, it's already built in. You're just gonna put those uh, screw and you use this uh, the big Allen key in the kit. Based on the manual, said you need to pull it up like this. And I think you can see where it's supposed to go. You take each side have two. Take one. I'm gonna put it. I don't know if I put it all. Okay, this is the right way. Put the second one. Okay, that now is tied. And look at that. <laughs> we're technically we done now. Like the printer ready to go. Testing here look good. This is really good. The build. I'm just gonna cut those tip tight. Now we're just gonna install the pool holder. Should be this is like this. Oh, that's really nice. Just like this. Now let's uh, hit home. Let's see if everything will work. I will hit all. And it's look where it's working. Now we've done the bed leveling and let's see what's in the, the memory card. Let's hit printing. Uh, this one. Uh, what do you think we go? I will pick factory test mode. I don't know what this This is empty. Oh my. Oh, look at this. Uh, I think it, this is a project and I'm, I'm, I'm happy, I'm surprised how the symbols show up, but I think this is our, this, well, I think, well, let's go with this one and see.
Now, after I've been using the printer for three weeks, this is what I print. The first thing I print is the faz. It's like in a heart shape, and this one comes with a memory card. Look at that. Beautiful. Have no problem. It's great. No string. There's nothing. And that was in the memory card. The second thing was the print sheet. Look at that. It's beautiful. Have no problem. Small things here, but great with a printer with that price. After that, I tried to slice something. I tried to slice Yoda. The slicer was come with the printer or the profile was Cura 1. Point something and that very old. And what I did, I just take the measure for the belt plate and create a new profile. I slice it and I use still I use the same filament. The sample one come with the printer and I use the support and turns out very good. Look at that, beautiful. After that, as I remember before, we said I I get also their filament. This is the gray filament. I changed the sample filament, the white one with the gray one, and I print this uh, pad man. Look at that, that's beautiful. Now, there's some issue here, you can see it, those lines or uh, toasting, but that the same, I think. When I sliced it, I was very hairy <laughs> and uh, didn't do it, like, I should be high or do it sh sharp corner. In general, like, look at that, this is taking me, like, I'll say 30, 30 hours. That's great. Osman, this guy who designed all these stuff, he have a lot of stuff you can print, he's amazing, and he have some uh, file, it's for free from Thinkiverse, you just download them and print it. I stuck with the gray PLA, and my son asked me to print something among get us for pin holder and I printed and to be honest I didn't change anything <laughs> with my profile and turns out it's good I used again support I want to see how the support going and was easy to remove and look at that again there's some ghosting here and there I think because I, I was printing very fast 65 or 60. I changed the filament and I use the lot of the color the, the I buy it also now and this point, I said, I need to change my profile. I need to start looking and fix it. Print this cube, also that the XLD filament. I like the color, the color is beautiful, but you can see there's some ghosting here. And uh, I was talking a lot with the acceleration and slow the speed, but still I have the problem. I print a lot, look at that. But I uh, have same problem. And I changed the filament, I thought maybe the filament, but again, I have same problem with the different filament. And the end, after that, I realized I need to increase the thickness for the walls. And once I increase it, the wall, turns out very good. Look at that. Beautiful. After that, I tried to print the toaster that from Hotmaker, from the designer, is a guy called Spring. He's amazing, guys. He's have beautiful stuff to design. But I don't remember what my scale, but I remember it was more than 150, maybe 200. Look at that. This is very hard things to print. Those things work. It's working. Can lock it and other side here, booms work. Those should be come out. I tried the uh, 0.2, doesn't want to go out. I don't want to broke it because I really like it. <laughs> but a beautiful design. I really love the idea. This is really testing the printer. And look at that, it's no problem. And I think that took me also 24 hours or maybe, uh, or maybe more than that. That's taking me too much time. I don't remember. But <laughs> the beautiful thing, look at that. <laughs> this is really toaster. <laughs> but really, check the clock spring 3D. He's doing amazing. Again, I have eh, small things here. I should be see the scene next time. But in general, the printer did good. And I like the, the toaster. After that, my daughter asked me to print her some stuff because I've been busy with this print. I print her that bunny for Easter. And she's been bugging me a lot to print her cow bag or a bee bag. And I print her the cow one. And look at this. This is <laughs> very beautiful. That Erwin B. LA, the yellow, which is really like the look at that. That's really beautiful. And the last thing I printed is the thinker guy. I print this without oh no, no, I printed with the support also. And this is one of the things I was trying to see my profile how it's doing, and I'm doing it. This is like really beautiful. Look at that, it's great. Now, in general, I like the printer, but there is some stuff I really don't like. First of all, it's the profile. I wish they have a profile come with a with a memory card and it's ready to ready for you to use. Low budget printer all the time targeting new people or new hobby with for 3D printing, and I feel sometimes it's very hard to find the good sitting for the printer. The manufacturer or the company, they know their printer more than anyone, and I would prefer to see their do their on profile, it's ready for use. But if you have a problem with the profile, leave me a comment and I will happy to help you and I send you my setting. Or we might be work together and we build a new profile for this printer, for the S1. The other thing I really don't like is the spool uh, holder. <sighs> it was a really weird angle, it's like that 
degree, I don't know what that degree is, like 45 degrees or something. I wish it was 90 degrees and straight, like like 90% from all the spool. But I don't think so, that's a big problem. I don't think so, this is like a major thing will stop me to buy the printer or use it. But also you can still print, adjust it or uh, mm -hmm. modify that. But as I mentioned all the time, I'm reviewing, I review the printer out of the box without any change or upgrade because end of the day I pay the print I pay for the printer I like it to use it out great out of the box if it's not work great out of the box then why I pay for it this is one of the two maybe things I really don't really like when it comes to printer when it come to what I like for the printer there is a lot of stuff I like in the print first of all I cannot ignore it is the price the price is really good but the price is not only the, the issue because there's cheaper maybe printer but the price plus the quality of part you get. When I mean part, mean if I compare this printer with the under three, there is a lot of stuff being added in this printer with less money you pay. For example, the touch screen. You have a clear, uh, color touch screen, easy to use, beautiful to use, simple to use. There's no those line with the blue line and you move up and down and you feel like I'm, I'm in 2021 now. <laughs> I'm using touching screen. The second thing is the hot end have dual fan and <laughs> what that amazing because all these low budget printer like under three or whatever those one they come with a single fan and they're loud and the first thing people will do is go upgrade it but here with the s1 it's ready to go you have the dual fan you don't need to uh, adjust it or upgrade anything plus of that dual axis here they have two of them the dual and that's with this size <laughs> That means you have very strong and stable printer because when you have one, there's gonna be a lot of weight on the left side. But when you have two, that really help the printer to move easy and produce a good quality of printer. Plus of that, the extruder have the stainless steel, the one, not the plastic uh, sheet plastic. When I see it in an old low budget printer, and the first thing will ask you upgrade that. And this is really good. Plus of that, the run out sensor. I was shocked when I saw it for this low budget printer and this is really help you when you try to print something long for like two or three days and if it's run out your filament will pause this move the hot end in the left waiting for you to change or put extra filament and something ready to go for you you don't need to upgrade it you didn't you didn't need to buy it plus of that you have the glass bed which is amazing low budget printer again do not have with the glass you need to upgrade them all these stuff also when we talk about the bed they use those yellow spring they're really strong they're really good quality other company use those silver cheap one and I really don't like them and most of the time people will ask you to upgrade those one because those will keep your bed leveling for a long time. Now the last thing not least is the motherboard with 32, uh, 32 beds and silent board. There is no noise. This is something amazing because in the future if you like to upgrade or change the stuff which I don't think so you need too much in this printer you have it ready to go. You don't need to change the, the motherboard buy something new or make it silent board. It's ready to go here and this is something really good. There is another feature and I really want to try to use it. There is a small module you can install it in the printer and you can use the Wi-Fi and watch is something great you don't need OctoPrint or OctoLab or OctoPrint for it or uh, OctoBuy those all this stuff you don't need it if that one I don't know how it's work there's not too much info in the manual I will look in it and will maybe make another video for that why subscribe now in general as I said I really like the printer now did I consider this printer for somebody new in 3d printing have definitely said yes this is really good start printing you have everything you need dual fan metal extruder run out sensor bed glass touch screen ready to go there's no need to adjust a lot and in the future if you want the motherboard will support you now a second printer yes i mean using now i'm doing some on-demand printer and i use it to do a lot of uh uh, left to fan in the last two days. Plus of that, there uh, there's USB and all these stuff ready for you to use. Did you can use it for farm printing? I will say definitely yes, because with the uh, module for the Wi-Fi, and if you download that app and you control it remotely, that will be good for you if you have multiple printer. This is in general what I think in the printer, the XLD, the S1. Now, if you have any question or you need help with the printer, I'll be happy to help you. Leave me a comment below and I will happy to reply to you. Thank you for watching my video today. And if you like my video, please don't forget to hit like and subscribe and see you in the next video. Keep printing.